This topic doesn't really get talked about too much, but if you have a Navy Federal credit card, then you can turn that credit limit into actual physical cash. A good amount of Navy Federal members have been liquidating their credit cards for quite some time now onto a prepaid card that Navy Federal offers. And the name of this card is gonna be called the Go Prepaid Card. So many members out there don't even know that this card exists, so let me shed some light on this topic today. If you're already subscribed, then welcome back. But if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Ish Sanford, and you are now watching Just Money, where we talk about financial related topics such as personal and business, business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics. So if that's something you're into, then you're probably gonna wanna consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so if you have any of these four credit cards right here, the Cash Rewards, the Platinum Card, the Go Rewards Card, and the Flagship Rewards Credit Card, then you can liquidate these credit cards for cold, hard cash. Now you might have noticed, I didn't say the More Rewards Credit Card, why is that? Well, if you want to add funds onto this Go Prepaid card, then the only way you can do so is by using a debit card or a credit card that is either a Visa or a MasterCard. Since the More Rewards card is an American Express credit card, then this credit card will not be eligible for liquidation. And since we're already talking about liquidation, let's talk about why you would even need to do this in the first place. So some people like liquidating their credit cards because maybe they have a business idea that they want to get started with. Like for example, I know some people that like to flip cards and in order to do that, you need cash not credit or maybe some people want to invest in the stock market or cryptocurrencies or even real estate and i'm not a financial advisor so before you even think about doing anything always do your own due diligence but those right there are just a few reasons why some people would like to liquidate their credit cards for cash and the way you would do this is by using your navy federal go prepaid card this is kind of like an undercover secret weapon card that navy federal offers they generally don't go around advertising this at least from what i've noticed but this card is really meant for budgeting purposes like keeping track of your spending and shared expenses or it's also meant to give to family members or even friends so that way they have a card that they can use for whatever they're trying to purchase but just know if you would like to add multiple card holders onto your go prepaid card then they have to be at least 13 years of age and have a valid social security number and since we're already talking about giving this card to family members or even friends you're only allowed to have up to five of these go prepaid cards and the maximum limit you can have on one go prepaid card is going to be ten thousand dollars so if you have $10,000 on this prepaid card and then you spend 5,000, then you can load up another 5,000 back and then have $10,000 again on that card. One of the biggest drawbacks though, I feel like personally, is you're only allowed to withdraw $600 cash a day from an ATM. If you're the account owner though, then you can actually customize these limits. But the maximum limit is still going to be $600 cash a day. And like I said earlier, you're allowed up to five of these prepaid cards. So if you wanted to, you can get a couple of these cards so that way you can take out more per day. And a lot of you may not need to do this, but hey, Hey, everybody's case scenario is always different. But if you're just using the car like regular, like not taking any money out, then you're allowed to spend up to $3,000 a day. So just imagine if you had two of these prepaid cards. You could spend $3,000 on one in the same day, and then you could spend $3,000 on another also on the same day. And I'm just giving you guys techniques here, so that way it doesn't sound too much of like a bummer. And again, the way you would load money onto this prepaid card is by using your Navy Federal debit or credit card that is a Visa or a MasterCard. You can actually use the GoBiz credit card as well. The GoBiz card is your Navy Federal business card. I actually did a video on this not too long ago, so if you guys want to, feel free to browse my channel or hit the link in the description below. But it's actually preferred that you use the Go Biz credit card to fund your Go prepaid card if you would like to liquidate from your credit. Because if you use your Navy Federal business credit card, then this will not report to your personal credit. Versus if you were trying to liquidate from your personal Navy Federal credit card, your credit utilization is going to go up. And if your utilization ratio goes up, then guess what's gonna go down? Yes, you got it right your credit. And I'm not telling you guys what to do, but all I'm saying is if you have your GoBiz card, then you probably want to liquidate from there instead of your personal credit cards. And when you use any of your Navy Federal credit cards to fund your Go prepaid card, it's going to be labeled as a purchase and not a cash advance. And also keep note, you will not get any reward points by doing this. And I give that to Navy Federal because that does kind of make sense. But the way you would load money onto the Go prepaid card is either on the mobile app or you can do it on the website. And this website is going to be a different website that has its own different login. When you receive this card to activate it, you'll have to go to navyfederal.org slash mygoprepaid. Or you can also activate it on the Navy Federal Go prepaid app as well. And this is going to be an entirely different app than the Navy Federal app. But once you activate this card, you will be required to select a four-digit pin and also if you guys are finding any of this information helpful if you guys could do me a favor and hit the like button i would truly appreciate that because it really helps me out a lot now let's talk about some of the fees that this prepaid card has so navy federal will charge you one dollar every month after six months if there is no activity on this card and they'll also 
charge an ATM fee of $1 if it's an out of network ATM. And then you'll pay whatever the regular ATM fee is as well. But Navy Federal has a list of free ATMs that you can use so that way you're not charged any fees. Now another fee that they're gonna have is a replacement card fee which is $5. And also an express fee of $5 as well if you want your card sooner than later. This card is also gonna charge you a foreign transaction fee as well and that fee is going to be 1% of the total transaction amount. And that can be pretty high depending on what you're buying. And also let me mention that the transactions that you make on this card may post or may not post on the same day. So if the total transaction exceeds the current balance that you have on your prepaid card, then your account is going to be overdrawn and carry a negative balance. And when you sign up for this card, you're agreeing to immediately deposit sufficient funds so that way you can take care of that negative balance. And if you don't correct that balance within 60 days, then the account on your Go prepaid card is going to close. And the Navy Federal is gonna take the money out of your checking account or the original funding credit card to correct the balance. And two more things real quick before I end this video. You can authorize other Navy Federal members to add money onto this card, which can totally be really convenient for you. And you can also add this card to your digital wallet as well such as Apple Pay, Google Pay, etc. But that's pretty much it for today's video guys. I really hope you guys found any value in any of this information. If you guys already have the Go prepaid card then share some of your experiences with it in the comments below so that way we can all talk about it as a community. We would love to know. But ladies and gentlemen that's how you would liquidate your Navy Federal credit cards into cold hard cash. But as always do your own due diligence because Ish is not a financial advisor. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, then I truly do appreciate you guys. We are at 21,777 subscribers at the time of this recording, so I do appreciate all who watch. I do post weekly videos for those that don't know, and if you haven't yet already, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you guys get notified every time I ish post a new video. But again, we talk about personal and business credit, real estate, and other financial related topics, so if that's something you're into, you're probably gonna wanna consider subscribing. We talk about how to get high limits on your guys' credit cards, we talk about how to boost your personal credit. We talk about how to obtain business credit. We talk about real estate. We talk about mortgage loan products. We talk about all of that. So this is your one-stop shop. And for those that don't know, I'm a licensed real estate agent, a realtor, and I'm also a licensed mortgage loan originator as well. So if you guys have any questions in regards to real estate, all my information is in the description below. But if you guys made it to the end of the video, then I truly do appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.